Dude, the, the speed and precision and the placement of his fingers in that flick were so amazing. That's what she said. What? Hey, guys. Hey, welcome doing? to the podcast. Hey. Hey. Hello, people. Oh, fuck's sake, Matt. Put the cup Matt's down, okay, seriously. Yeah, it's going away. <laughs> Matt was speaking yeah. through a Matt's plastic cup. Matt wanted to speak into a plastic cup for the entire cast, but we have swiftly shut that down. Welcome. <laughs> and you would have been thanking me as well for it. Why? Just Why would we thank you for that? What, shitty Bane impression? Yeah, I was going to say the exact same thing. <laughs> just like, oh, Ross Bane it's impression. It's about mixing it up, all right? And the cup was just mixing it up. Mixing up? We got rid of Wayne last podcast. That was oh, I'm, I'm back. Yeah. We're mixing up a lot. Damn it, I want crawfish back. I want to mix it up again. <laughs> I'm God joking. It. Welcome back, it's Wayne. It's fine, next time we can kick you out, Tom. Oh, maybe. Uh, I love you too much. It's all right, because he actually does stuff for the podcast. Dick move, man. That's, a, that's, a, that's an off-air argument. That was rough. <laughs> yeah. Dick that's, move, man. Anyway, yeah. Yeah. Welcome, welcome to the podcast, yeah, guys. Well, welcome to the, uh, well, well, the E3 Conspiracy Podcast. Yeah, that's what we're calling it. <laughs> yeah, that's what it's tends to E3 be E3 Conspiracy. <laughs> oh, God. Wayne is just like the echo <laughs> for the podcast. We've got, <laughs> instead of Wayne, we've got Echo Wayne. <laughs> Everything we say is afterwards. It's like Greek being in a Greek Orthodox church again. He'd be like, <laughs> just singing in the background. Yes, <laughs> fuck's sake. But it's it, nothing against my religion. It's it's fun religion. But yeah, welcome to the E three Conspiracy Podcast, people. Yes. where we discuss what we think is going to happen. Let's properly, this... let's properly go through who we actually have on the podcast. Yes, uh, with assembled. with with Andreas as per normal. Wayne's falling Wayne's asleep. Wayne's falling asleep. <laughs> he is actually, I'm you know. so awake. That's how he introduces himself. Yeah. Just like, I'm so awake. You don't, <sighs> you don't know my life. Um, you don't know what I've been through. I'm, Maybe I'm Tom and I don't through. care what he's We'll have through. his life in the description, so, so you know. <laughs> and it's just going to be the Fresh Prince about air. <laughs> <laughs> That's all it's going to be. Oh, God and Who's damn. this guy to my left? I might be Mass. I actually no, I, I actually am at mass. I, okay, he's right. mass. Today Are you sure this mass? time? I'm uh, one. I'm pretty sure. sure. And every day of his life, everybody feels the mass effect. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Right, so Andreas, what are we going to talk about roughly on this podcast? Wait, did you introduce <laughs> yourself? <laughs> no. Yes. <laughs> I missed that part of the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is now like a two-man podcast. Wayne's asleep. Mass is just stupid. I'm probably not asleep. Mass is stupid. Mass but is... we also forgot about Cindy. I'm just. I oh, know. Just... Cindy well, doesn't yeah. want to be on this cast. Yeah, she's, she's taking a world deserved. Hey, Cindy. Nap. Yeah, she's. Cindy. Oh, is that is that the uh, the, the fish? That's your replacement. Yes, yeah, so yes. Yeah. Yeah, so who we replace you with? Is that the crawfish? She said just about as much in the frying pan. Wait, I mean, Damn mate, it. mate, if you did, there's a problem. It's plastic. You <laughs> get poisoned by it. Mate. Oh, that would not taste nice. You'd probably fuck up that frying pan as well. <laughs> the fumes would not be good. Yeah, be knocking out people everywhere. Oh, dear. Oh, like the so, Nintendo, Nintendo why, why Game Boy I... Child record yeah. device. Oh, why do I feel that we're the only ones that are going to be laughing at this? Well, probably we might probably, be. Yeah. Just, just before we start, right? We watched a video for the, the Did You Know Gaming video for Game Boy, the, the newer Game Boys, and. There was a uh, an attachment for the Game Boy that I'd like to mention. Which one? The, the one, the one at the end. The, uh, the, the child sedation one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the child rape I device. mean, Japan, man. <laughs> Shit. Only Japan. <laughs> it's like it's a, you play games and when you complete levels, it sedates you. <laughs> <laughs> it's like how who in their right mind thinks that's a good it's idea? Like, it's like something like every time you get one of the mushrooms and marrow, you get high from or something. Yeah. <laughs> We're not even like joking. You can Google this. Yeah, it's, it's on Digital Gaming. Uh, Game we can, Boy we Part could always 2. provide um, a link. Yeah, in we'll, the... we'll put a link in the description. Or we'll have like we a, will provide link uh, as, as much as as much as Mass loves annotations. We can put a massive annotation right here. It's like <laughs> here is the video. Put it over his face. Yeah. Picture. Yeah. <laughs> so so turn annotations on now. Yeah. Yes. Make Please. sure they're on now. Wait, where's my face gone? I will have it <laughs> now. Uh, hi. You are an annotation, son. Ah. If you just have an annotation of Matt's face that moves around the screen. <laughs> no, that's too much. That's too much. But... Too much. Right, anyway, but, um, what are we actually going to be talking about? Um, on the we, we decided because it's about that time of the year that we should probably speak about because we're a gaming podcast i think we should yeah. probably talk about e3 i mean it's probably the biggest thing to happen every year yeah. and probably some upcoming games or as of the release of this cast probably games that have just been released yeah something like that as a release just... of this uh yeah yeah i mean watchdogs comes out 
will be out by the time this goes out. Yeah. Wild Star will be as well. Oh, yeah, nobody cares about Wild Star though. Shut up. That thing that one of us has played. I, um, Wild Star is amazing. I'm still not 100% sure what Wild Star is, but. I know it's a game, and that's yeah. where my knowledge. I, know, I think it goes on PC somewhere. Like I know that Wayne played it. It's the newest. We, it's the we, newest MMO. We just don't care, Wayne. Look, yeah, the game is amazing. Like I don't it. play MMOs. At the best I don't care. How about you start the don't... fucking MMO cast again and forget <laughs> about this? Yeah, it's true. <laughs> don't bait him because I don't want to hear you, you don't know my life again. <laughs> I'm gonna punch him. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I mean, Watch Dogs will be out by this point. I'm sure there'll be some kind of announcement. Yeah. For Already DLC leaked, for it. by the way. Huh? Already leaked. Yeah, yeah some I mean, games. I'm not sure how that will work because, I mean, with the smart glass and the PSV, you, you do a lot of things on your phone. You do a lot of hacking. With the PC, there is a, a thing. There's like a, I think the NVIDIA second screen thing they're doing. The Shield. Is it the Shield? Yeah. Uh, yeah, nice. they do like a second screen thing where you can, you can connect it. But I don't know if that'll work with leaked copies because you've got to have a legit yeah. I'd imagine just a standard single player no nothing yeah I mean yeah but that's that but in, in the in the single player you use the thing as well oh, I yeah. don't know so yeah you use like hacking with smart probably clarify we are talking about Watch Dogs but yeah. 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 yeah yeah not World Star World Star is a better game we... oh it's not even out yet you did it but all the burns yeah well, both mean... of them are neither out well, well, the, well the, 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 somebody get a motherfucking raw spare for that shit because like you got burned. Oh! I can't even remember who it is. If if that is raw spares, then God, I'm gonna kill myself. I'm not gonna lie to you. I wasn't listening. I just heard you got burned. I think I'll be yeah. or, or maybe Oran Berries. No, Oran he was 30 HP or 10 Does HP. It? God, why do I know this? <laughs> oh, I need but, to um, get laid. So but yeah, I just want, <laughs> just want to start by saying oh, they announced uh, a couple of days ago that Aisha Taylor will be, or Aisha Tyler will be taking over the Ubisoft conference again. Yeah. Now, I love the Ubisoft conferences. They announce Ubisoft are the only game company I know where I actually will pay attention to what their releases are because I quite like everything they've released, minus probably Assassin's Creed. But even like, and I can make an exception. And you play doesn't exist. <laughs> You play doesn't isn't so bad because it, they've integrated it into like um, Trials Frontier, which is now on Android. Mm. You should check it out; it's quite good. It's free, um, and um, yeah, and they integrate it so you can get like the leaderboards and stuff like that on it. And I really quite like that. But um, yeah, she, but like they talk about the only thing that yeah, the only thing I don't like from Ubisoft is really Assassin's Creed. I mean, all the Tom Clancy games are quite good and that sort yeah. of thing. But Aisha Tyler comes on and talks about fucking Goldwyn again. I swear to God gonna kill myself i'm probably not gonna kill myself but uh, i'm gonna be incredibly irritated for a large amount of time i'm gonna annex the x button (laughs) (laughs) and get rid of the fucking because i i actually like i don't care if it's games i really looking forward to i'd rather just watch the highlights if it means i don't have to watch aisha tyler again yeah like I, I can see how she would be annoying from that like uh highlight reel of her that you showed us but guys girlwood girlwood Fuck yeah, off you gotta with keep Gilwood. track of how many times that's a lady burner, and I play a lot of shooters, and it's like, oh, fucking shut up. I'm already depressed. Yeah. How about I shoot you in the face? Who, no. him or I no. Tyler? Don't shoot Mass. We right, need him say, to the yeah. podcast. No, yeah. no I wouldn't shoot Mass. Mass is too funny. Like Funny looking. I'm like, well, Mass, well. Mass is just like, I think I'm here, but where am I? <laughs> Yeah. Mass, well, well, Mass is that's never quite look on like. Yeah, Mass doesn't quite know where he's going in life. Yeah, we need we need like an image macro for loss of Mass or something. Mass just, just like Mass doesn't just, know where he is. Mass will just too lazy like, to care. <laughs> Mass will just turn up into into our Skype conversations two hours late and be like, "I oh, know I said I was going to be here two hours ago, but in the grand scheme of things, you know, such as life and stuff, I'm, I'm not, not actually that late." late. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear! Yeah, if you compare two hours to like years, then it's nothing. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, yeah, we're, we're just we're just happy that you know there's some gaming news because it's been it's been kind of winter and a bit of spring and it's been a bit dry. We yeah, we nothing happens in, over winter and we, spring in terms of big. Game we releases. started at a very bad time with this podcast. I mean, because we yeah. never there was never really any sort of news going on. That's all sort of thing. Yeah, like we started yeah. off the back of E3 and then uh, we kind of took a break over win some of winter anyway. And then it was like it, yeah. we started again. It's like shit. There's no gaming news. Yeah. But now we're coming back to E3. We're, get, we're so. getting to like the summer thing. E3. And, and we're we're getting to that point with with expos now where like before when with the 2012 one it was like look at all these great games coming out in next year or the year after yeah. and then 2013 was like oh all these games are actually coming out for the xbox one and ps4 how did you not see that coming when yeah. it was all seen coming anyway so now we've got to that point the consoles have now released that the companies are now going actually fuck we actually need to show some yeah. games and now 
apparently the thing is we need to show some games that look fantastic because yes you know times or that's what it is if the new platforms don't show like a, quite a few games people are going to be really pissed because well, there's like yeah. no games this is going to be a quite a big like deciding factor in who buys what console because there's still yeah. a lot of people waiting to buy a console yeah and um definitely. They're going to cash in depending on what exclusives and stuff are announced at E3, yeah. I think. Anybody who hasn't already got a console is probably holding off to see what exclusives are coming up in the next year, 18 months, and they're probably going to go from there. Yeah. I mean... That's what I'd do. Yeah, I mean, with Halo... With you, if you're a fan of sort of like Halo, Gears of War, that's in, that's, uh, in its prototype stages now and that sort of thing, so they'll have something to show at E3, I think. You know, things like that, and I... I those sort of games are probably anybody who's a fan of those will go straight to the Xbox as soon as they're yeah. announced. And with the PS4, I mean, you've got what games are coming out? They've got like Uncharted 4, which is apparently in pro- project yeah. now. Last of Us, um, they might announce the Last of Us 2. Yeah. Have they re released that yet or... already? I think yeah, they will. PS4. I think they will be doing a next gen remake of it, as far as I can Yeah, that, there, there is a next gen remake happening, but I don't know if it's out yet. I don't think it is. <clears throat> I reckon they'll announce like a maybe a new Tomb Raider game. Yeah, I can see that happening. I mean, they already had like the HD remake of that, where for some reason <laughs> they made Lara look. Different. I think I think it was I think they did that to buy some time to then make a new one because they yeah. were probably making the new one. They were like, "Wow, we're not going to get this out mm. as quickly as we wanted to." So they're sort of just like going, "Okay, we'll release the HD version yeah. of that to tie it over until." I think that's what they're doing with Last of Us as well. Is that they're using yeah. the Last of Us HD remake? Maybe to they'll, add some, a... uh, they'll add some Tress effects. So yeah, it'll be. Last of Us versus Tomb Raider Mobile Disco Edition or something. Like oh that. <laughs> wow, be fantastic! But yeah. I think yeah, I think they're using the HD remaster or well, the, the 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 high resolution remaster of yeah. Last of Us to tide over time. So now they're now going to announce Uncharted Four. Yeah, something it's, like that. It's kind of weird they're doing that because like in the last couple of years, HD remakes of much older games have been taking off. Yeah, and then we've had stuff that's released quite near the end of a console cycle. Yeah, new console. And they're like, oh, HD upgrade. You know, like Call of Duty and stuff. How do you can upgrade to the new one for cheaper? And they yeah. they might do it with this. That's, and it's that's like good. I like that's, that. Yeah, yeah. That's, it's weird when you think about how in the last couple of years it's been slowly taking off. We're gonna HD remake old games, and suddenly you're like, let's do it for games that came out like a year ago. And it's like, shit. That, that's nobody a, else has thought of that. What the hell? The, but is that a market we've already gone through as a podcast? Yeah. I think. But is that a market? Is that a gap in the market, or is that a market that they think there's a gap in, but really there isn't? Yeah, I think they're pushing it into the market. To yeah. shut the market up for five yeah. minutes while they finish it up. Yeah. People that have more money than sense will be more than happy. Or, or like people who if, genuinely love. Let's just say game. I was a big fan of, I don't know, Suck a and game, dick. and then it came. There was like a HD remake of that game. Suck and I'd dick probably, HD. No, but like, yeah, I'd probably like upgrade <laughs> to Suck and Dick HD. Yeah, yeah. And get rid of Suck and Dick. He was like a huge dick. He's ever sucking the dick by itself. <laughs> just a standard dick. BBC uh, edition. <laughs> 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 I'm, I'm so proud of that. Oh, <laughs> <Not really. laughs> oh, Is dear. there anything you guys want to see announced in uh, the in E3? I just want to um, see more evolved. I evolved. think evolved. I reckon. I reckon they're going to announce uh, a heap of DLC for Trials. Yeah. Um, Ubisoft. I'm hoping there's rumors of a new 2D Prince of Persia game, which I'm really. Yeah, I heard a bit about that as well. And I'd be I'd be happy with that if they made it. If it was separate from the Sands of Time. And it was and it was more akin to the older ones. Yeah. I'm still fine with that because the older games are still quite good. You know what? I'm I'm one of the very few people I know that actually enjoyed the Cell Shaded Prince of Persia game, not because it was a great game, but because it was just fun. Yeah. It was exactly what Prince of Persia was meant to be, and it was just this game where it was fun and that sort of thing. So if they even if they did another version of that, because they left that very ending, they left that ending very open to give it a oh maybe we'll have a sequel type thing. And yeah. if they did a similar thing, maybe change the the graphic style or something mm. like that. I think they probably do it like two and a half D kind of thing now. I'd love to have that. That'd be fantastic. But yeah, I'm trying to think. Um... Well, there's a lot of stuff going around lately about different Rockstar things. Like they might announce Rockstar. Rockstar might announce like GTA 5 for next gen, which will hopefully lead to a PC release. Mm. Yeah. Well, I really want the PC release because um, when it came out like month, almost six months ago now, maybe. It was in October, yeah. Or well, eight yeah. months eight even months then. Um, I was like holding off from buying it, hoping for a PC release, and it still hasn't been released on the PC. Mm. Yeah, the, the GTA 4 took eight months, nine months as well. Yeah. Though. So, so it's, it's been similar. about the same amount of yeah. time so far. I'm really hoping that in the next few months we'll be seeing that. Yeah, because, the kind uh, of bad I really want to play it. Yeah, mm. the, the kind of bad thing is, though, I'm, 
I'm hoping because they think we can upgrade to next gen, then they'll kind of port that, but a decent port, hopefully, to mm. PC. Whereas the, the only, bounty are losing. Yeah, like the only other thing is like they are focusing or will be focusing on next gen version, so maybe they won't make any time for a PC version. Mm, I think the PC version already exists along with a high majority of the next gen version mm. i think because if you look at the original gameplay trailers and that sort of thing they were a bit more high res than how the game yeah. came out the game still looks fantastic on the xbox 360 and ps3 but there was a lot of like there's a few things like when i first started playing it because it loads because you have to install it first but not onto the hard drive yeah. before you play it it starts loading things from the hard drive and the disc so sometimes things pop in a bit late when you're watching mm. cutscenes, and that's a bit of like a Hmm. You know, is that yeah. really should that really have the okay. draw distance is better on the again? Thing. It could be a little just... bit like um, a lot of things that people for some reason thought only just started last year's E3, where people were like, "Oh, look, this thing for Xbox One demo of a game or a, a trailer is running on a modified PC," and it's like because they don't have the fucking console, you yeah. idiots. They have to. Well, I mean, I remember playing Halo Four at Eurogamer a couple of years ago mm. before it came out. And they weren't paid on Xbox 360s. They were paid on. They were, they were, it was a. It was a demo build. It was like one map, one game type. No, one one death. It was like a death match or a new game type, and it was like, you could tell this was a really really early demo. So they couldn't have probably put it on an Xbox unless it was a modified Xbox. Yeah. Which is basically just a PC anyway. So it's not like it's a, a real, a real shock to anybody. They they did that anyway, and everybody attributed Xbox like, oh Xbox is doing this. It's like yeah, but the PS4 would have done it anyway. Mm. PS4, you don't even know what it looks like, so they could just put it in any case. They were like, that's the new PS4. That's wonderful. Going back to like the uh, what you said about GTA 5 and there being higher resolution um, traders and screenshots and things like that. Dark Souls 2 did exactly the same thing on Steam. There was these really there were these really amazingly look amazing looking screenshots and. Uh, the trailers were really awesome, but then they all got taken down, and then for like for like about I think two weeks there wasn't really many screenshots on there at all. And then when they all got re-uploaded, there was all really shit in comparison. And then the game came. A lot of people were hoping that the uh, even though it came out on consoles, looking not as great as the trailers did, that on the PC release that's when it would actually look really good. But on the PC release, it looks exactly the same as on the console. Yeah, but they they so it's like they downgraded it. Why why would they do that? Maybe because um, running the the game at the at the resolutions in the uh, that they wanted to just took too much power. Well, yeah, Dark the... Souls One was famous for being a, a kind of dodgy PC port, so I'm assuming. They probably did a better job of it, but at the end of the day, it was still a port rather than a specific PC version. But that's what I'm saying. I, or it's, it's not exactly what I'm saying. It's like the, the, my point was that even though like the trailers and s- actual screenshots shots of the game before it was released were really amazing, after the PC version, the console versions were released, it didn't live up to what was originally sh- expected. Yeah. You say that, but they're still pretty good. I'm not saying the graphics are awful by any means. I am. But no, I'm not. They're, they're, not they're, they're not like... I'm not one to care about graphics. I actually think the graphics in Dark Souls 2 match like the feel of Dark Souls in mm. general. I really like that. Crap. Dead. But, <laughs> soulless. But like, but like... I, I think with... Uh, my, opinion, my opinion on Dark Souls 2 is the graphics are great, but the... Uh, Very dark. The stock backs... Stock the backing, like uh, the skybox and shit is all shit. Like the trees that look like they've been copy pasted. Shit, 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 shit. But like, shit. so for that, so I'm guessing the reason they downgraded the graphics there was because it was just going to take too much power, and it could have been but, the same for Grand Theft Auto. But it was, it was like gameplay trailers that were showing. Though. That's so, what, yeah, it was the so, same as Dark Souls thing. But <clears throat> for that to have happened means they would have had to have downscaled it, which means that somewhere that version still exists. Maybe for the developers, but if they downscaled the game um, for release, then they, I would make sense them f- oh, yeah. for them to change the video um, is... gameplay video. Oh and... yeah, I completely agree. I agree that it's like a conspiracy. This is like my conspiracy is that that version does exist somewhere. It's like it the reason like there there are a few reasons why I think there is either a PC version or a next gen version already in existence because oh, look, look, the graphics. The fact that if any of you have you played GTA Five, yeah, I played it. I played yeah. it. Yeah. That map is so big. That map is huge. Yeah. For sixteen players, 
nah, it too looks, big. Yeah. It's too big for 16 players. We've we've come to the conclusion on playing GTA on the Xbox 360 that if you see someone coming towards you on the map, the chances are they're coming for you to kill you. Yeah. And that just that does kind of ruin it slightly because like the whole point is you run into people at random and it's mm. just like oh you know. And uh, it's just like there are things missing, like there's heists missing online. Yeah. They're saying the first big bit of DLC is going to be coming out by the end of the year. And it's things like that. And you just think, why are all these things missing? Why have they given, mm. why have they just taken out all of these things they said that were going to be quite core to the game? Yeah, you know? no, so I, it's I just... can see that, yeah. I mean, the other thing is as well, like, with, with only what? It's only 16 players, isn't it? On yeah. the 360 PS3. It's like, for a map, of that size that is tiny like i remember when i used to play like servers with hundreds of people on mta which was like a san andreas slash by city multiplayer yeah. mod and um you just bump into people all the time i mean there's only certain situations in which you could kill people or fuck with people which was good but like just you felt like it was a city complete almost completely populated with actual people barely any npcs because yeah. the game couldn't really handle generating npcs for everyone online and stuff so that would, I think they could easily deliver that, but in like an actual Rockstar made experience if yeah. they put it on PC. They yeah. get at least 32 players, if not 64, because if fucking Battlefield can do I'm it. Say, I, think, I think 64 on the Xbox Gun game. One. Huh? Yeah. Gun game. Gun, oh, uh, massive action game. Sorry, yeah, massive action. No, that was 128. No, 256 online. Yeah, fucking and that was hell. on the PS3. That was on the PS3. That one, The thing is, that's a game that had dedicated servers. They need dedicated servers to do it. So, yeah, because GTA 4 and PC is like a local host type deal through gay for Windows yeah, Live. Yeah, and I think it's very... No, I don't think... It, I'm not sure how similar it is on... I, I think it's dedicated on the Xbox 360 version, but it's just Xbox 360 has problems going past a certain number. Yeah. Like, there's a, there's a problem with, like, the servers not being, being able to hold that much. I'm not sure quite how it works, but there's a way, because that's how they could do 32 on... Battlefield 4 on the Xbox mm. 360 to 64 on the Xbox One. So it, it's possible, but I think, to be honest, I think 64 is still a decent number compared to the 16 that are there now. Yeah. Because 64, you're more likely to bump into people. If you had a 60, there's like, there's a race that goes through, just goes, just circles the highway of, of uh, San Andreas. Yeah. And if you had a 64 player race, that's already hectic enough as it is when you get a full match. But yeah. when you get, um, when you get, uh, more players into it, it'll just get more and more and more. Yeah, insane. you can have like if even if you're just doing a race with like like ten friends or something, you can have like twenty other people waiting all the fucking way around the map trying yeah. to bazooka your cars and stuff. Yeah, trying to set traps on the road, it would make it pretty cool. Yeah, exactly. And impossible to actually win the race. I mean, yeah, it's yeah, impossible. The, it's just G- yeah, GTA yeah. races are fucked up they in are, so many ways. I've also been hearing stuff about Rockstar. F- I don't know why. That they might be releasing a PC version of Red Dead, which I was talking about before yeah. we start recording. It's like, and, and the, on the one hand, you've got the fact why it's so long, but at the same time, I would buy the shit out of that because a lot of other people would, and then there'd be a player base again. I would love mm-hmm. to go back and play Red Dead multiplayer on 360, but there's only two other people online, and they're both hackers. Mm. Like literally, the last time I went on a server, it was just like me, my mate, two other dudes. Both of them kept teleporting us like off mountains and stuff. Oh, but it it'd be great to have like a thriving PC community come back for that. Maybe with mod support, but I wouldn't I wouldn't really be too fast. Do you think that Rockstar are gonna start bringing more online into games? Like Rockstar Online will have you can now just separately buy the GTA Online, or you can just now separately buy the Red Dead Online, or things um, like that. I think they would make a decent amount of money i reckon they would benefit because instead of buying like the 40 pounds like it yeah. like with um what i said of the xbox one is if they didn't release gta 5 but they just released gta online would people be angry with them i wouldn't because people, some I know people a lot would of people... be angry everybody yeah. else would buy the shit out of it yeah. it's like, it's, if, if they say oh his gta online is 10 pounds there were some, really... some people who purchased the game specifically mm. for the online yeah. or, or just... Well, I, I think single. sometimes with certain games and things, you can sell components separately. Like how I got um, you guys to buy the last standalone for Dawn of War 2. Because yeah. it's a genuinely yeah. fun little game mode. It costs a few quid even when it's not on sale. I think... So you can just buy it and play it. Yeah. I think the better idea would be to release the full game and just the online. Because there are some people that really wouldn't that would be really happy to play the offline. Yeah. 
and because uh, you know you can just mess around with it so much do mm. whatever you want no consequences yeah they've made it a bit more free and a bit more sandboxy going from four to five again like it seems like five is a lot more fun just to dicking around yeah and and the missions are good too mm. so and you can you like there's the thing where you can rob shops but you can also speak into the microphone so that the shopkeeper goes yeah. faster or thing like that and there's a there's a video online because you can go into a strip club and do similar things but why are you getting a lap dance yeah be like make your brain basically and you could be getting a lap dance and apparently oh, there's a video on youtube of a guy who left his microphone on and yeah. like he left it so everybody could hear him and there's just people driving around and all they can hear is yeah baby oh yeah <laughs> take it off baby <laughs> <laughs> and it was just Oh, it's so funny. Everybody you know? parks outside listening, man. Yeah, it's fucking weird. Well, I, what, what I want to do is I want to do that, but I just want to be like, I want to go get a lap dance, and everybody's going to be like, oh, I listen to this video. It's like, titties. <laughs> <laughs> Look at them titties. Yeah. Those are nice titties. <laughs> <laughs> just do some like really weird serial yeah. killers. Be like, oh, yeah, we're next. Oh, when do you get off work? I'm going to fucking kill the shit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Everyone will be like, you just see all the dots in the map converge at you. They're there for 10 seconds, and they go, nope, nope, yeah. nope, and move away. <laughs> well, like, there's one thing where my was like hey watch this all right then cool so he gets into he walks into the strip club like pops a shot off everybody starts running out he runs out gets in his car and just follows a hooker down the road going na 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 and at one one point one of someone was like do do they have a house that they go to and we're just like we don't know so we followed them we kept following and following and following and they just disappeared after they they got to they got to the canyon bit and then just vanished we're like well apparently they live at the canyon yeah. <laughs> they're moles. somewhere but going back we're getting hilariously off topic yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's yeah. becoming the gta 5 class yeah but i mean i, I think rockstar if they because they haven't they haven't really announced anything at e3 for a very long time if no. they have at all so if they were to do now where would you? Where do you reckon they'd stick it? Where would you reckon they would? They would. Uh, where would you reckon they'd? Uh, <laughs> they'd, they'd put their announcement. Oh, I don't know. I feel somewhere like somewhere between that announcement and that announcement. Probably right in the convention center. I don't know. Yeah. No, I'm. I'm not sure because I feel like they. They'd pro- possibly leave it till near the end of E3, and they'd start like releasing little bits of information. So they'd they'd get everyone hyped up and everybody would go for E3 thinking, yeah, that's cool, Ubisoft wins a fucking Rockstar conference. I want to hear about GTA yeah. 5 and stuff like that. And then they'll just like hoggle the attention. You they know, could easily do that. You, you know GTA, you, Rockstar are the kind of uh, the kind of place that will go in. What they'll do is they'll just be like, just be like, whoop, whoop, everybody get out of the way. Yeah. And it's just like a, an 18 wheeler pulls <laughs> in with just the Rockstar logo. And there's like, just like announcements here, just like yeah. stops in the middle. And the guy gets out and goes, fucking GTA 5. <laughs> Yeah. and everybody was like Wah! that would be legit yeah. I would that watch would... that shit out it was yeah. just like I remember going, saying another one when I went to Eurogamer like this, there was this truck that stopped in the middle of the convention centre and it, the sides dropped down and it was just dance <laughs> oh, and it was like the, the floor of the trailer was a dance floor that's terrible and I was just like you've got to be fucking kidding me but I was actually made to do it I, yeah. I did it with some representatives from AA and they yeah they were, they were alright they were not bad yeah, yeah. But um, but yeah, they got some representatives from EA and got the that's where I got my my Crisis shirt from. Was yeah. the people who work there get it? But like, yeah, I had to dance to Wild Wild West by by Will Smith uh, to get <laughs> to get, to get oh, and it was it was fantastic. I had yeah. to like square dance. <laughs> there were like nine of us. We had a great time. But yeah, it was just like when that came in, everybody stopped and looked around at us. And then I'm I'm pretty sure there's got to be some fucking videos on YouTube somewhere of us doing this. There yeah. were the, there were like nine of us. Yeah, but, but I mean, yeah. So I've been hearing like. That's all I've heard from Rockstar. They could well just announce, at the worst, all they'll announce is a bunch of DLC for GTA mm. that will take six months longer than they fucking expected because apparently heists and shit have. Mm. Not that I've, you know, I don't really play that game that much, but I can understand why people get angry that heists and other things that they hyped up for quite a lot before launch is mm. like a big part of GTA Online just yeah. haven't come it's out. It's like they're yet. taking it out. Yeah. It's, the thing that bothers me the most of GTA 5 heists is the reason it's not that they're not there. It's that 
they seem to be the only way they put in the game to make a substantial amount of money quickly. Yeah. So you don't really get much money for doing the, anything. Like the races, the maximum I've ever got is like 12 grand, which sounds like a lot. But when you've got a, an apartment that's 340 grand, that sort of thing, yeah. you've got and like grind. The car that while. came out just now, it's exactly. like 870. Yeah. Uh, and thousand. you have to pay every time you call a new personal vehicle, which will happen yeah. if you're dicking about the insurance company. And exactly. Stuff. And it's just like, it's you know. It's a bit so... too difficult to make money. Yeah. I mean, they gave you 500 pay for the whole we fucked up the launch thing yeah i think but i mean i wouldn't get that if i got the game now no no you wouldn't and it's just like it's it's all well and good but it's just like there's no way to make a substantial amount of money it's like we went on a spree to we we hit 10 shops in the in the game obviously and didn't just go around stealing things from shops but um yeah we did 10 hit we did 10 shops and we got like 13 grand from it that took us half an hour albeit it was literally i would land i would jump, jump out of the helicopter parachute down land rob the shop by the time i get a shot the whole helicopter's landed i've got back in they've gone back and it's just it's dumb it was great fun doing that sort of dumb shit yeah. but yeah so i mean i can understand where the highest thing is and i want them to bring that in but i don't know i don't think that i think the gta will be part of it but i don't think the g if if, if rockstar come to e3 it won't be gta it will be Rockstar Online. Yeah, I I like to think they're gonna make something a bit bigger than just GTA announcements because they've got to have something mm. else in the world. Yeah, I think yeah. like a DLC isn't worthy of like mm. a, an, an announcement. There could be like a whole new announcement for a whole new game that no one's even ever heard of or expected. Yeah, and it'd be mm. mind blowing. That yeah. is something Red that Dead Rockstar Two Wild could West actually Boogaloo. Do. It's actually Red Dead Three. Have you know have Red Dead Revolver over there? Yeah, spiritual like, successor. Not even huge. like a Red Dead game, like not not a continuation of a series. I mm. mean, a brand new spanking yeah. game. There is there is a, a rumor that there's gonna might be making a new bully game as well. And the replay though. It was so. alright. It wasn't. It was nothing yeah. special. Mm, yeah. I played an hour. And, well, uh, it's not I'm a bad game, but yeah, I mean, I I'd like Rockstar to come to E3 because I reckon if they did, they'd come out and they just blow everybody's minds yeah. because they have this. Not so much like because it's what just because of what they are. It's that they're this fairly secretive thing. Like when GTA Five was announced, there wasn't much that nobody really. Yeah. There was like, oh, Rockstar are making an announcement. Everyone's like, well, they've already made Red Dead. They've already made a new. They've already made Max Payne. They've they've done. They knew are what's next. GTA's next. Okay, fine. Yeah. So people wait for the GTA announcement. But when there was like the gameplay, that the uh, the story announcement, and it's just like everybody's really excited for it, but nobody hears anything about it beforehand. Mm. And then like with the gameplay, the online gameplay, it was like, oh, it's gonna be like GTA Four. And they come out and they're just like, fucking, you can have apartments, have cars. Yeah. There's a jet flying past your apartment. You can fucking bicycle anywhere you want. You're just like, oh shit. What the fuck? I is didn't this expect up? this. Exactly. Yeah. So. You know, I really reckon like Rockstar could come out and be like, "Yeah, we're gonna make some announcements," and everyone's gonna be like, "Oh, cool." They're gonna look online and then they come out and just be like, "Blow your mind!" Slapping Simulator 2014. <laughs> and we still buy it. Yeah, we would because Rockstar made yeah. a great game. I mean, we 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 can Don't kind of predict it. that Ubisoft will possibly talk about some Watch Dogs content. Oh yeah, I reckon they will talk about another fucking Assassin's Creed. There's, I think there's what two coming out do? this year, isn't there? There's oh Unity and there's another one. God. You, here's a fun fact. Unity is being made by ten different development teams. Oh, that man. can't how, go wrong. That how... how <laughs> Duke Nukem. Yeah. <laughs> it's like... How is that even a thing? It's like within a year, it's being made by ten different development teams. So how developers, how does that even work? Developers. I don't know. Too I, many I assume the they kitchen. outsource different bits. That it, like you make the textures and models. You yeah. make the engine. It hurts like, my head what? trying to think about this. Mm. That must be a... Freaking logistical yeah, nightmare. Max has been very quiet. At the, at the beginning, yeah. Why have you been so quiet? Huh? I'm just, I'm thinking, like, uh, I may be way off, but do you think they're going to use, like, their live action stuff to help push these th- these products? Like the um, Assassin's yeah, the Creed stuff and the, the film Halo. War. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, the, the Halo Halo 5 has been announced to come out around about the same time as the Halo TV show. So yeah. you reckon, reckon they're going to try to use that to, uh, oh, yeah, to push it? Oh, yeah, definitely. I don't know if they'll they... tie it in, but they'll sort of hype each other up, as it were. From what the rumors seem to be, there's a, have you seen the, the cover to Halo Five? Yeah, with where the it's the Master Chief Spartan. upside down. It's not a female Spartan. The guy said because a lot of people are saying it's either a physical embodiment of Cortana put into like a robot Spartan, oh, yeah. or it's Sarah Palmer just being upgraded from Halo Four. Yeah, the guy has come out and said it isn't Sarah Palmer, it isn't Cortana, but then explicitly says he is a new character. Yeah, and then all of a sudden, the Halo TV show casts its first character called Marlo, who's a who's a, a disillusioned Spartan, 
and you're just okay. like, huh. Oh, so it okay. might kind of like be a prequel explaining that guy's story. I, I reckon, what? yeah, it would be like a prequel explaining that guy's story, and the co-op is gonna be you can be the Master Chief and Marlo sort of thing, and oh, it's okay. gonna sort of might it might focus a little bit on the yeah. co-op a little bit more. But that would be really good. Actually. I announcement there's, 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 it's gonna be a Halo. It's gonna be it's gonna be in the Xbox announcement. I really hope. Yeah, definitely. That and the Halo Master Chief collection, which if happens, um, Twitch streaming that. Buying so the got, shit out of that. It's on Xbox One. I'll oh. be here playing the yeah. shit out of that. Yeah, <laughs> and whatever. Utilizing your console. Yeah, but um, um, what other devs do you think? I'm not sure what will come out of Valve. Uh, Source Two, Half Life yeah, Three. I'm I calling Half Life Three. I, I. Everybody. Oh, there's I'm, always one guy that yeah. does that, and he's always wrong. Don't, I'm, don't be that guy. No, I'm not there has call... to be someone that calls it. E3, three, three E3. E's, half. Half Life Three confirmed, right? Yeah, right, exactly. But like, I don't. Portal Three. I can see Left 4 Dead Three happening. Source yes, two. I think that will that will be their first Stop Source Two game man. because it's been a long time <laughs> since a Left 4 Dead Portal Two. It's been came an even out. longer time since Half Life. Yeah, but Half Life yeah. has just become one of those myths now. I... Half Life is the new I... do new. You know like, what? I would prefer I quite... the Left 4 Dead Three. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. It's 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 E Three, which is three years. There could be. But Half-Life it's E Three every year. Left 4 Dead Three and Portal not Three. The point, Andres. Huh? There could be three threes. That See, that I'm would be a nice here. little one. But then it'll be Source Two, and they'll be like, "No, we're gonna skip Source Two and go to Source <laughs> Three and make a fair end." No, they they, they could totally yeah. announce Source Two and when, be really anticlimactic with it. If they announce Source Two, everybody would go crazy. Like some people will be sitting there like, "Why? It's just a game engine." It's like because then you know they're doing their next generation. Yeah. Game. Then you know Half. Then all they need to do is announce Source Two. Then you know Half Life Three, Left 4 Dead Three. Yeah. Ha- you you oh, know Half Life Three Triple could threat. actually be on the way. I now. think. I think we should call back with this sort of thing. We should call back to our Steam OS announcement podcast a little bit because we did talk. We did make where a lot we of predictions. Accidentally predict everything. We quite we, well. we, we, we <laughs> almost, where we almost predicted pretty much everything yeah. that was coming out with the screens, like the, what it is, and that sort of thing, and. I think that Steam. We we said that. Do you reckon Source Two would become like a Steam OS timed exclusive? Mm. And do you reckon it would be like, oh, we've got Source Two, but only if you're a Steam OS user until August twenty fifteen. They 2015. could actually announce like Steam OS coming like earlier. Yeah, uh, I feel like they. Made, it's already in beta. They still seem beta to be. They the seem to in in terms of like general Valve and like Steam and what they're doing with that. They seem to be really going. All over the place with little add-ons and extra things Steam can do, like big picture mode and the, the home see, streaming. Yeah, thing. did you see that? I'm really interested because yeah. they said it. They've explicitly said that it's coming to other devices, mm. which leads me to believe that consoles might become a part of the streaming. Could be, yeah. And I reckon, I, re- I reckon, like, only be like, maybe oh, the your, your Steam machine isn't good enough to run this game as high as you want it because you you can't afford the upgrade or whatever. But your PC runs it fine. Yeah. So you stream it to it, that kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, I was, it's just the way they've gone. Oh yeah, it's definitely coming to other things mm. though. But so I reckon smart TVs. Yeah. Possibly consoles, but it'll be a paid app. I reckon it'll be like a subscription. Yeah. Uh, just things like that, like because I don't, I'm not sure how. Like I don't think it will come to like uh, iPads and tablets and that sort of thing because no. it's already difficult enough to try and get they're, I think they'd save it for their own hardware yeah they, 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 they there's that Nvidia Shield they've just released Port 1 Half-Life 2 onto it oh wow so that's on Google Play Store for Android for that yeah, one true. For, that, for the Nvidia Shield and so it, it proves that it can be done that there are versions of it but it's just like I don't think that tablet PCs in their current form like because they tried to put OnLive onto them didn't they yeah, and you, exactly. it's, it's only recently they started doing controller support for them. Yeah. So I really feel like there's a, you know, there's a, there's a maybe but not now type idea. I'm not 100 percent sure. Yeah, it but... seems like they're they're doing what they've always done with Steam in a lot of ways, which is they're putting a lot of things down so that a they can do them first. They've got the groundwork there, and when it starts becoming popular, they can pick up and still work mm-hmm. on it. And, whatever. and you know, they're just really adding on so many new features that most of us won't use for like yeah. 10 years mm. and then we'll look back and think like, like if you think about how the fact Steam didn't used to have all the community stuff it no. didn't even used to have like the friends list and the this and that and mm. whatever you couldn't chat online when it came out it was like wow this is really fucking useful I can talk to my friends while we're both in a game we're in separate games he's not in a game just on, on Steam or whatever like yeah. they've made so many little things that have had a big impact in the long run yeah other things like origin well. and new play yeah they added voice chat which mm. is like 
It's We're quite buggy all... though, isn't it? Yeah, it was, yeah, it was built awful. by the same people who helped build Skype and stuff. It's it's all right. Like it's, it's fairly useful. I think the only reason they haven't really worked on it, just slightly off topic, the only reason they never bothered working on it is because they know anyone who's like really seriously like gaming with their friends, yeah. they'll either use Skype or a voice chat server. Like, they, they have dedicated call, team speak. speak yeah. Yeah. Mumble. There's no point to invest in that. Exactly. Yeah, so, like, they, they put it there as for the for the people who wouldn't know about that kind of thing, which I can understand. They, what, they, what Valve are really good with is um is doing what the community wants. Mm. And the community doesn't need needs as much as anything else another voice chat application when yeah. there's already so many doing well. Yeah. So I just got a thing come through and I just checked on it and it's like, when asked if online comics would replace actual books, Stanley had this to say, comics are like boobs. I look great on a computer, but I'd rather hold one in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Stanley, Stanley, legend. The but yeah, um, I think that what Steam do is they try to be ahead of the game, not behind it. So they look for where they make isn't the, something. They make the fucking game. Like, yeah. and if you really go back and look and think about they are, it. They, they were the forerunners, basically. Yeah, yeah. That, they're not just ahead of the curve. They're fucking drawing the damn curve but like, most of it's, the time. It's also like yeah, but they say oh we've got we've got voice chat, but when we put in voice chat there was already Skype, Teamspeak, yeah. Already... So we didn't really concentrate on that because people we know people use this already. There's no point in us trying to force people to use something they're not going to use. Yeah. But what we'll do is we'll do this. It's completely different. Like Steam OS, everyone's like, well, do we need another OS? And it's like yes, but this is why because you want a console and a computer. Yeah. Why not have both in the same thing? And everyone's like, fuck, actually yeah, that would work. Yeah. You know, so it's just like Steam. I think Steam, if they come out and make another announcement, again, it's going to be another thing that's completely out of the blue. Mm. I think they'll elaborate a bit more, or if they if they come out and say anything, they'll elaborate a bit more on the streaming, home streaming. Yeah, Steam machines as well. Steam we machines. Haven't, we haven't heard... A few a few big companies announced they would be producing Steam, Steam machines, machines, but we haven't really heard much since. Yeah, exactly. Um, like, how the, what, what's inside them, mainly, because yeah. we, never, we don't know what's inside them yet. Um, I reckon... If anything, they'll if if they do announce a new Source Engine because I know I know Source Engine's getting fairly old now. It's a new generation. Yeah. They're, that, they're... that said, again, they're still it's a really good engine to adapt to mods yeah. to change. It's so, so open source that you actually have. Yeah. A, it's it's still surviving, but it, yeah. it's, it's kind aging. of due. For That's the thing now. Right like now. it is surviving. Yeah. yeah. It's not doing much else at there's, the moment. There's, they can't really do unless you're a modder. I mean, like the actual game development guys don't seem like they're going to do much on this engine yeah exactly i think the only the only engine more open source than that is the unreal engine where you actually have i was thinking yeah you, can buy you, the you have the scratch you have it from scratch you can do whatever you want yeah. with it. you can design things and i think that's going to make a big impact on e3 as well like i think because they've just they, they they sort of just like ironically just before e3 announced that they're making unreal tournament 4 yeah Unreal Tournament, Unreal Engine, Unreal Tournament. Sorry, Unreal, I'll, I'll get it right eventually. So Unreal you're Tournament, a, a new UDK. A new UDK. No, UDK is already out. Unreal, Unreal Engine yeah, Four is no, Unre- no, no, because Unreal Tournament on Unreal Engine Four, um, they basically said that we want to open source this, and so, with the kit that's already out there. Yeah. So, but you've got to, you've got to pay like fifteen dollars a month to use the kit. And that sort of thing. And oh, okay. I used to use Unreal, Tour- Unreal Engine 3 all the time. I made maps for the Unreal Tournament 2004, that sort of thing. And um, But I think they're going to come out and they're going to elaborate a little bit more on what they plan to do. But yeah, um, what is... What is... Wayne's being a dirty bag fiddler and he's sliding all about the place, yeah. I don't know. God damn it. But like, yeah, I reckon they're going to come out and they're going to be like, this is our vision, blah, 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 blah. If they did one where they're just like, we're going to release a, a free version of the Unreal kit for yeah there's gonna cool. be um it's gonna be like map based and that sort of thing then fine That'd whatever cool. but they're, they're, they're really using the uh the team fortress model of playing where you can design aesthetic things for characters yeah and you can sell them online and then like they take a small chunk of what the money what money is made from it and that sort of thing everyone's doing that nowadays yeah so the tr- well I, it, it's very much. profitable for the community as much as it is for the people and it exactly. makes them look good because they're giving most of the money back to the creators so exactly and it's like they, they i think the creators take like a, a small percentage of the price paid for the item which i think is a fantastic idea because yeah. it also it also pushes forward the fact that people can earn money 
from yeah, creating without, things. without having to get a huge prestigious fucking graphic design exactly. job in the gaming industry exactly so it's really uh yeah um so we've mentioned like valve and source engine ubisoft we've mentioned uh rockstar is like didn't anyone think of anything else really that, that <laughs> we think will be coming nintendo there will be a new zelda game all right, Mario game. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Moving right. on. Let's there's, there's, there's sort, <laughs> like, there's sort of like get to the, the sort of end of this section, or depending on how long it takes us, the end of the podcast. Let's go through the different play, the different things, and what we think will happen. So we've got Nintendo. We think they'll announce they'll announce final characters yeah, for announce... Super Smash Bros. And their usual shit. <laughs> yeah, there'll be a new Mario, a new Pokemon. Zelda. There'd be a they'll elaborate on Pokemon Omega Ma- Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Which has been announced. Good time. Yeah, it's gonna be like fucking that. sweet. It's gonna be amazing. Hone region. Amazing. Oh, yeah. I actually, it was the only, that was the only Pokemon game I didn't buy. It could be uh, like favorites. another version mm. of 3DS. 3DS IXL. Yeah. BT. Yeah. It comes with a SIM card in it. The, D- the the 2DS2 DS Boogaloo or something. Yeah. yeah. The 2DS that actually was remastered flip. HD. Yeah. yeah. Jesus Christ, that that wedge and rather than a shit fucking out. shitty tablet. Yeah, I don't thing. understand what that is. But um, it's like Sony, a monolith from 2001. What do, you, what do you think Sony will come out with? I reckon there'll be there'll be a, an exclusive on Metal Gear Solid Five. Yeah, uh, I'm trying. It isn't for. a paid demo. <laughs> Don't even get me started. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> what else? Yeah, there'll there'll be some Uncharted stuff. Uh, I'm trying to think about Sony things. Um, there there'll probably be a bit more about some Vita games because they've they've got a few Vita games. Like I'm not sure when. Borderlands 2 Vita is coming out. I think that's out now. I think oh that's yeah, out it could soon, be yeah. out already. And we'll apparently, see. it's not very good. Yeah, I've heard, I've heard it's, it's... Right, right. I've heard it's. I heard it just doesn't quite work as a portable game, and that's yeah. quite sad. I mean, Borderlands is a fantastic game, and you should be able to experience it wherever you are, type of thing. I'm. I'm really a fan of the Borderlands games, but I can understand it not working though, like because there's just. Uh, um, I'd rather that they make it work really well on. Uh, on. Console. console, yeah, and then make it work a little less well, just so it can work really well. It was, on the they handheld. they they did things like they downscaled the graphics a little bit, which is fine because on a smaller screen it's harder to notice. Yeah, or like when to to save the RAM, whenever you killed a character, they would become red mist and that sort mm. of thing, and that that doesn't bother me so much. But apparently the load times are a bit horrible, and it still lags quite horribly sometimes. Yeah, and things like if you want to zoom in you have to like tap the right side of the pressure pad on the back and that sort of thing yeah. and it's stuff you do by mistake and things like that and yeah I... some of the vita games have that but again some of them you can disable that like yeah. a lot of the things that are like quite involved shooters like uncharted yeah um and stuff like that you can disable different aspects which is so nice because i like some of the touchscreen functions like you can man you can manually jump between uh like holding points when you're climbing a wall if you're feeling fucking lazy just draw on the screen along them and he'll fucking climb them all. That's it still takes cool. about the same amount of time. You're just not manually controlling it. It was just like, oh, you know, I'm in a rush. I'm on the train and walking around. So I just, but there you yeah. go. You can draw it and stuff like that. But then there's stuff like tapping the back touchpad will use some kind of ability in some games or like it will switch weapons. It will zoom. And I was like, no, I'm going to say with that. Like you can have full tilt aiming where you tilt the Vita to aim when you're yeah, down the side. And I was just like, free, God, yes. no. Because I hate yeah. that kind of shit in phone games. I can't imagine it's any better with yeah. the Vita. I mean, you um, can tell yeah, we're not I'd, I'd like them to announce a lot of See, the, the, big Vita games and a fucking HD Spyro, please. Yeah, I love I think, Spyro. I think Vita's really picking up now. It's like with the new the new model that's cheaper yeah. and that sort of thing. I reckon it's really going to pick up a lot of steam now. And it's it's still got the indie market well behind it. Yeah, you know, exactly. they're porting over old games and stuff. Mm. Think you heard anything from Microsoft Studios? Lots of things from Microsoft Studios. Developers. Gears of War. There's a new Gears of War made by Black Tusk Studios that I reckon will be there. It's apparent yeah. when they they when they last spoke to the team, like for a journal like a journalism thing came up, it was like they're already a hundred days into the thing, so I reckon there will be like a trailer or like a teaser or something that yeah, comes out. That'd be pretty sweet. Uh Halo five will get some kind of actual story. Mm. Uh Halo the Master Chief edition will be absolutely milked also, to the last I've, I've just thought we might hear something more about Destiny. Destiny, that, that's a PlayStation. That'll be in yeah, summer. So that'll, that'll be Sony. Probably thing. Be under the Sony that'll one. be under the Sony thing. So we've got that's an exclu- exclusive, isn't it? Um, no, it's not. It's not coming on Xbox One, but they have like yeah. buy it on PlayStation to get fucking yeah, no, your dick sucked by a robot or something. Yeah, I don't know. It's a, they they they're saying they're developing it sort of with the PlayStation in mind. Yeah, but I'm hoping that's not coming out on PC, is it? 
I can't so. remember. I don't think it is. No. It no, really fucking so. annoys me because, again, that, that's another game that would benefit so much from being on PC. Mm. But, again, it might be a thing that they do later down the line. I it's, a, it's a good console exclusive game, which is definitely going to um Yeah. It's going to sell. It's going to it's gonna, it's gonna shift gonna boost units. Yeah, I think that's going to be one of those big announcements we were talking about that mm. you know has swayed people. A lot mm. of people are looking forward to that game. Like, if I was, if I was going to get a console, that would be because of that game. Yeah. Yeah. It's... I'm trying to think of other, other sort of consoles. I mean, Microsoft will do their normal thing where they come out and basically know, we're going to jizz on your face and you'll love Xbox it type apps thing. And shit, there'll be probably, some new Xbox apps. About. I don't think there'll be many TV announcements this year because they've just announced the last thing, like just before E3 was like, they're finally bringing native TV support for Skyboxes for yeah. UK and like Europe. So that's that's pretty much the end of the tv thing they'll probably announce some films that are coming out on xbox tv soon mm. um trying to think ubisoft will announce assassin's creed the the, the second one hopefully some yeah. division there'll be some division thing but there's but there's a that got delayed though didn't it yeah it got delayed until 2015 but there's also a thing going around saying they don't think come out until 2016 now as mm. well and so there's a real sort of push now that's quite disappointing but when they announce a game so like, oh, by the way, game out of the blue, it's like yeah. you kind of think, how far is it into development that it didn't get I leaked? I think they, yeah, I think they probably had the bare bones of that engine they've been bragging about, and yeah. they literally put the the different things together for that, yeah. that tech demo, and they they might not have had you know a leg to stand on in terms of any actual gameplay. Exactly. So I really feel like you know that's a thing that is gonna it's gonna yeah. add. It's a um, shame, but you know. Those kind of games, when Ubisoft put them out, they have a history of being at least decent. Like the last yeah. Ghost Recon I played, um, I can't remember which one. It might be Future Soldier or something like that. I liked Future that Soldier. That was decent. Yeah, it was a good game. Is and... that the one where you like your HUD is like around the end of your gun and stuff yeah. like that? Yeah, it is yeah. that one. Yeah, I played. Apart from the usual Ubisoft being shit at PC problems, I had of installing and upgrading the patch in the fucking yeah, game until installing you played. Yeah, but apart from that, it was like a fun game and I enjoyed it. Yeah. Um... All right, and let's try and call it now. What do you think the surprise announcement at Ubisoft will be this year? What sort of games? So we've had Watch Dogs. Being, I'm, I'm being given a free copy of I think I think Mass should, <laughs> I uh, should I suggest because he said nothing will cost. Yeah, so. Mass. So we've had Watch Dogs in 2012, where it was an open sandbox game about hacking, and it had did an entire thing about the the CTOS or whatever it is, where it's like the city wide everything's run on one OS that's connected yeah. to the system. Blah 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 blah. So, ding. Yeah, that was You're my being hacked. Yeah, exactly. By Watch Dogs. Oh no! Uh, so in 2013, we had The Division, which is a game, a massively multi- massively multiplayer online game where you have a, a squad of people, and you you can also have a person on a drone, and it's you 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 could find any other squad in the game. They could either be friendly. It's like sort of thing like Daisy, but with squads of people in a in a wasteland yeah. after Black Friday breakout of some sort of virus. I missed that. The division looks phenomenal. I think it looks like a really good game. So we've had though so we've had those sort of games. What do you reckon's next? I have no idea. No Guess. idea. Mr. Italian. Massimo, and I reckon I reckon we're not gonna get too surprised this year. I reckon we're gonna get a Prince of Persia. I reckon it will be, because there's been rumours but there'll be nothing concrete. And they're going to be like, oh, will it, will it, won't it, won't it? Oh, here it is. Yeah. There you go. I, I don't like know that. if that's going to be a huge surprise, though. Like, mm. Some people will be happy. I'll be okay with that. I won't be like, oh, that was just not worth yeah. waiting for. But at the same time, I don't think it's like it's not groundbreaking. No, but how many, time, how many times in a row can you be groundbreaking yeah. and still not pull up on the... I mean, Watch Dogs was announced in 2012, and they've delayed it and delayed it and delayed it, yeah. and now it's coming out. It's out now, you know, it's only just out. Yeah. So it's like, you know, you've got that sort of... I think the big surprise will be ESO going free-to-play already. <laughs> oh, that would be funny as That ball. game is actually it's... starting to fail. That is... I've actually tried to look for stats, and I can't find them anywhere. Pretty sure, because they don't... I think they're they hiding don't the wanna... numbers. Yeah, they yeah. don't want to show. I've looked everywhere. Yeah, everybody just, played it for no... a month, and they went, nah. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be that guy, and even though I've never played any of the Half-Life Galaxies games, I'm going to say Half-Life 3. It's going to be that guy. Because the yeah. ha- you have to have that guy. I know it ain't going to be that. I, he, he I'm say saying that. maybe... Left, one thing I'm thinking about, Left 4 Dead 3, how much of the original dev team, which are now, I'm assuming, consisting of Total Rock by themselves, which are making Evolve, hmm. how much of the original dev team and stuff that were, did one, and I'm assuming two, will still be doing that will they like go back and work on it now that they're done with evolved and they're sort mm. of shipping that soon because 
They've, they're still going to make some DLC and maps and new monsters yeah. and stuff for Evolved, I think. Yeah, but they might do with Evolved what some... Like, um, when Halo... They made Halo, and then when that was done, they got the guys from... I can't remember the name of the team now. That they made... They, that one of the map packs was completely designed by a different team. Yeah. Yeah, I can I can see that, because they do sometimes outsource, like, uh, different things to different studios, like Colonial Marines, because that went well. Mm. Um, Tekken but... plus Street Fighter. Yeah. yeah, I still think that's a way off because there's been there's literally been absolutely jack shit, and there's nowhere that they could no there's nowhere where they could sort of shoehorn it into anybody's thing yeah. unless anybody's outright gone here's money announced it a lot thing. They let me just wait. Eighteen months ago, they did a like a questionnaire on Facebook where they asked you to pick ten characters out of the entire Tekken roster. And ten characters out of the entire Street Fighter roster, the yeah. whole history of both of them. So, which characters do you want in a game? And then, why um, only ten? Why not just all of them? Because they're trying to gauge, like, because if you're giving it, it's like, oh, you've got to pick a certain amount of characters. Yeah, they're trying to gauge if, which if, ones people definitely if, yeah, want. Yeah, if there, if there are going to be fifty characters, if people, if, if you give people a choice of ten, then they're going to think a little bit more about who they're going to pick. Like, I would pick the sort of normal sort of Lily, Harang, that sort of characters. But then I would... And Street Fighter, I'm a little bit less knowledgeable about. So I'd, yeah. you know, I'd pick the normal mainstays, Ken, Ryu. I'd have, like, the yeah. Abel and Relento. Just so you know if anybody wants a pound cake. Yes. <laughs> but, yeah, where was you going with it? But, yeah, um, 18 months ago that came out. And then there was just nothing to do with Tekken Cross Street from that point onwards. Mm. Um, afterwards, they did do another one where they were just like... If you were to have a new character in Tekken, who would it be? And they were just like an old man who knows like Kendo or something like that. And the winner was a, a vampire girl, like a really weird vampire girl that could yeah. they could some. And they ended With up no emotion. That, yeah. Tom. <laughs> oh. I'm not a vampire. No, but what? you have no emotion. And I'm a girl. Lol. That was a joke. Anyway, yeah. continue. Anyway, yes. Yeah, Dickless. Um. So. <laughs> um. What was, what was that? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> just like pulled a funny face. Um, but yeah, they that that character ended up being put into Tekken Revolution, which is the uh, free to play Tekken game that came yeah. out on the PS3 the other, a few months ago. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm not it's sure. Fair. Like, if there is going to be something sort of game change, game changing pun slightly intended or whatever, mm. like I think it's going to be something that we won't have known about at all. Like, I don't think it'll be anything that's been delayed a few years and people have kind of forgotten. So caliber. I think it's going to be kind of a sucker punch. Nobody will see coming. Somebody like some Would it be made studio... by Sucker Punch though? No. Oh, no okay. Man. Like some studio will announce a brand new IP or like a revival of a series everybody's fucking forgotten about or something. And that will be like <laughs> the show stealer. But I'm not sure who it's gonna come from. Mm. I'm hoping I'm hoping It's gonna be Nintendo. Uh, it's gonna be Walking Dead. It's, it's gonna be, not it's gonna gonna be, be fucking Nintendo. I bet it's gonna be Nintendo. King's Ninten- originality Nintendo. King Nintendo are gonna come out like we're reviving fucking Punch Out. Like, what? You revived that for the Wii? No, we didn't. Shut up. Just, like, hiding the copies. <laughs> yeah. like, totally cool. Security. Hiding that guy the, out like, with. boxing part. Yeah. Yeah. It's totally going to be Dead Island 3. Oh, who gives a fuck? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I enjoyed Dead Island 1, even though it was a bit of a bad game. Yeah. I still enjoyed it because unlimited throwing knives and stuff. But th- nobody really cared. They went no. into like a shitty lane defense slash MOBA thing lately. and I'm, uh, Yeah. I, I, I doubt that's any good. Got... Never, never. Dead understood. Island Riptide was Dead Island 1.5, basically. Pretty much. And Probably as poorly optimized. On both PC. games are really terrible. How is it they're getting a third? Because we don't know if they're getting oh, a third. I was, I was yeah. trolling. I was trolling. But Dead, Dead Island 1 wasn't terrible. Ted, Dead Island 1 was fun with friends, but it just wasn't a great yeah. game. What, what if this year we get a shooting game that revitalizes the shooting game genre? But wasn't that supposed the to be a game of uh, guns? Titanfall. That's Titan, uh, no, Titanfall was. was Look, no, at but, all, look at all this hype in, and then also a robot. But it was supposed <laughs> yeah, to be so much. Like, I, f- I feel that what they were going for was a revitalization of the shooting genre. They didn't revitalize it. They added a nice new element to it. Yeah. But they're not. They but then you could, get, you could get mechs in Halo 4. Yeah. Though. It's, it's going to be difficult to revitalize that genre because it's so. It's just like the, the crutch. Okay. Yeah, it's oversaturated. It's the crutch and like the moneymaker for so many development companies. Like. This year, shooter. Next year, the game we actually care about. This year, shooter. That kind of thing. Yeah. Do. There's um, just so many Call of Duty games. And... Yeah, everything's trying to be Call of Duty or Battlefield, and they're fine. So, like, 
and then but then they're still bringing they're kind of trying to bring back uh like the bullet hell shooters and stuff like that yeah but then people appreciate that they're doing the old school thing and they're doing it a bit different then you get back to it's like well that doesn't really sell anymore that's why it's not made yes yeah, so so... i'm not quite sure like we could even hell we could do a separate subcast on this but i'm not sure what the hell could really change the, yeah, the shooter would... genre Any, anything point. with staying power because it's like we i think we had this conversation a little while ago was the I thought Bulletstorm was a very underrated game. Yeah. It was. It wasn't. Don't get me wrong. It's not a fantastic game, but it's a game that was different enough for me to take notice of it and actually yeah. care. And it didn't sell shit. And it was games for Windows Live, and so it doesn't exist on PC anymore. And the P- the Xbox version, I still have that sort of thing, yeah. and I play it occasionally. But it's just like I ran. I somehow managed because there was like a on eBay. There was like a it was five pounds, and there was a five pound off any purchase vouchers. I got Bulletstorm for free. I genuinely feel bad because I enjoyed the shit out of that game. Yeah, it was a great. I got the one that came with the Gears of War 3 beer. Um, it was like a 50-50 split. I played the demo and really enjoyed the game. And I went to the Halo 3, the Gears of Gears of War 3 beer. Yeah. And I really, really, and you know what? It was, it's like the, the, the crackdown thing with Halo 3 as well, where it was just like, you got the game for the beer, but yeah. actually the game was fucking the thing, good. The thing crackdown. with, um... Crackdown was, uh, I don't know. I mean, crackdown, I mean, crackdown three, be. possibly, possibly crackdown three. Yeah, I mean, I I, again, that. like that will be a lot of people will be interested, but I don't know how much of like the, the, a because big they, thing that will be because they did say that crackdown was meant to be a trilogy, but then, yeah. but then the guys who made crackdown two have gone bankrupt since. Yeah. Huh. Ruffian Games. I just, I Which is a big shame. Crackdown two wasn't. I, I didn't really like down. Crackdown two there's, as much. As there's, much. there's one thing that makes me more sad about Ruffian Games shutting down than Crackdown being not being made. They were making the remake to Streets of Rage. Yeah. Oh, they were, were they? They were, they were. There's a video online of a re. They were make, remaking a Streets of Rage game. Had all the original characters in it. Yeah. It had like a had like a real sort. Of, it was like the first. The thing they showed was like the first stage of Streets of Rage. Been like a 3D sort of element, yeah. so you could run up and you, you sort of hit people as you would normally, but it still had that that neon, really old school 80s action film type well, thing. One thing I have like, thought oh. of now, EA have all the development for every single fucking Star Wars game, hmm. hoping for a bit more in depth about Battlefront, more yeah. Star Wars Battlefront stuff. That won't be a game changer, but I think that will be yeah. nice because the, of I would like them to the, the absolute cock tease fucking. 30 second of look is half which was wasn't even a great map from battlefront yeah like, that I, they had but it got everybody fucking excited the only the, the only problem i have with battlefront 3 is that it's going to be made by dice and so i really hope it's not going to become battlefield future yeah like battlefield like, star wars mod yeah. they, if they kept it like battlefront yeah like yeah in, in the same sense that that lord of the rings game came out and then the servers got taken down after like two months because he so um, if it was like that, then that'd be great. Oh yeah, I, I'd really like that I'm, to happen. I'm hoping just... they basically kind of make a new upgraded Battlefront and sneak a few of the nicer elements from Battlefield, Battlefield. into yeah. it, rather than you know. I, I want them to take another what... Battlefield game. Yeah, because Battlefield Four failed. That's a that's a different argument. <laughs> yeah. but, we'll talk um, about that if we yeah, do shoot. Yeah, but um, Battlefront, like I think dice because dice have a lot of shooter experience. Yeah. I think they're the right team from EA to do it because yeah, they because they've got the frostbite engine mm. like they 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 they've got first dibs on that basically they've got first look at that and it's just like it's gonna look fantastic yeah and they could use elements like because Battlefront is a third person game first and foremost yeah so if they could take elements that work from Battlefield that would translate into a third person game also keep elements from Battle like if they looked at it got this worked from this this worked mm. from this. And this work from this would they work together yeah if they oh, if they, if, if they get the right kind of mishmash of um different mechanics yeah and but wrap but sort of also wrap some of the mechanics around the fact that it's star wars yeah and you can and do somehow, and can't do certain things and try and keep the same feel of the game and yeah and yeah. try and make sure that the engine doesn't feel like it's a completely different engine even i would, be. i i just hope I, I would easily take a completely online Battlefront over one with a crap story. Yeah. yeah no I... one ever cares about the story in Battlefront, ever. Battlefront, I enjoyed the campaigns because it just put you in a bit more of like a you have you have more objective on this map hmm. um, scenario with all, you know, like all of the multiplayer maps, but... It was like on the tournaments. All online. 
Nobody's going to complain. That being said, I loved the Unreal Tournament campaign. Yeah, Cameron, was it Unreal because Tournament. of the story, or was it because of the just the the, the game type? The, the story was a bit strange, but it was just the fact that it was like it was throwing you into progressively harder mm. game. It was almost like the that's the sort that's the sort of campaign I'd like for Battlefront is one where it sort of teaches you the game, and then goes, "All right, then here's a new objective, yeah. here's a new thing." And like but, the last the last but thing. Think about it. Or, like it kind of how Battlefront One and Two did it in terms of like a campaign uh, a next gen like a uh, massive battle experience with all the revolution and bullshit but you're fighting like the battle of half yeah on a single player campaign thing as long and as they're can... not too heavy on the script of it or, like the battle of geonosis you're in a space battle over coruscant and shit like that yeah. it'd be so good yeah like it just it would it would kind of be fan service in a way but is Star Wars not perfectly suited to the kind of cinematic shit they're always trying to push? Exactly. I, it would work really well. I I think, yeah, I think Battlefront could go far either way. Yeah. It could become the new sort of cult Star Wars fan game because it has a feeling, it has a thing. And with Battlefront mm. 2, when they gave you like, the characters from the actual film, yeah. it's just like this fan service, fan service, fan service, and it's a good game. Or it could just become a, a, bit of a, a broken... Of Battlefield uh, clone yeah. based in the future that stops them making Battlefield 2143. And it's just like, oh, is it 2144? I know, 2143 already happened. They did 2142, I think. I know, yeah. One, yeah. So. I think I might be thinking about Battle Stations 1942. Yeah. But yeah, um, yeah I, don't, I don't know games. Why am I even here? Fuck it, I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> no. But, that should have but, been really fast. Huh? That should have been the really anticlimactic end to the cast. Oh, we'll, we'll come up with something at the end of the cast. Don't worry, no. we always do. I feel like though they're limited to... with Star Wars because I, I might be wrong, but I ju- I'm pretty sure they just wrong. announced. Damn you! No, Wayne, you're wrong. That they've just announced that. Um, Did you play the Force Unleashed? Everything, everything from this point <laughs> on. I really don't care. In... <laughs> Damn you! I fucking love that game, but it was a bit of a piece of shit as well. <laughs> I never actually played any of the Star Wars games. But it's like. It's right, they don't matter anyway. Oh no! Oh, no. Do you know what, do you know what that, I want? That is the sh- that, that because has... EA have Bioware. I want another KOTOR, but with, with slightly better combat. KOTOR, I would love that. So good, Mass. What are you saying? Sorry, we all talked over you. I'm saying Mass play KOTOR. So I'm saying. Yeah, KOTOR is amazing. Well, uh, apparently that's not part of the can. I think they said that's not part of the canon. Yeah, uh, and if it's not, all of the games from this point on will be part of canon now. That's yeah. what Disney announced, which means they have to be careful as to what sort of story they're going to go with uh, with Star Wars. So they yeah, might wait. Fuck Disney. They're going to be like forging their own new extended universe. Right, but so. they've got to be kept because it can't like um, it can't um, can't be anything that might um, you know, uh, hurt the movies in any way. Yeah, I don't think it will be. I think they because you it's going to have to work they, alongside the movie. It will work with the movies we've already got and the timelines we've already got all beforehand because. They're going to be more worried about their new films, but they're not going to really care if they mess around with the odd bits going around the original trilogy or like the they'd, people trilogy. They'd be stupid to say no to Kotor three if they if that was something that could be. But done. could they do it? Because they've just basically gone well. Fuck the rest of the canon that isn't the films. We don't want it anymore. Can they carry on doing that? They could, as long as the gameplay is similar. It can have an entirely new story in this and that. And the point of it was like hundreds and hundreds of years before even like. The prequel trilogy is yeah. when Kotor 1 and 2 are set. Yeah. Like, when technology and stuff isn't as advanced. Even Well, I say it isn't advanced. It fucking is. It just looks older, because apparently that's how Star Wars works. Everything gets better looking, but they've always had blasters, mining <laughs> lasers, lightsabers, and whatever shit. <laughs> so, yeah, like I think they could easily do it. That would be great. If the surprise announcement from E3 is, oh, by the way, another Kotor, I'd be like, I would be the oh, guy. shit. I don't see that happening. All the money. I would say the yeah. shit. So, out of that game. See, we've got there is going to be an e- EA uh, conference that always is every yeah, year. Yeah, that's so true. So you never know; they could have a small. Because you know, when when was it that they actually got all the Star Wars licenses and stuff? Was that after yeah. last year's E3? I feel like it was after last. Yeah, year's so they could absolutely push a bunch of new ideas and new things they're going to be yeah. doing. They could have a small section dedicated. Oh, like only have been done recently, but I'm pretty sure they only just announced maybe a month or two ago about the canon uh, series. How it's yeah, yeah, don't yeah, get but me wrong. that's that's more movie news. But do you reckon? But that, yeah, that definitely does um, impact the I game. I know, it will, yeah, yeah, but do you reckon? Do you reckon they did that because something in the films are going to cut out from the game? It so? could be. 
Oh, well, I don't know. Was this other, again other casts we could do? Yeah, yeah we're, we're actually this, we've, this, we've literally we've we've gone oh, probably gone a little bit over time. But I mean, there are so many notes we could take yeah. from this to make we, we the really subcast will be coming it. back soon. You know, we've yeah. just gone been going through a bit of a transition yeah, period. Yeah, sorry about that. I yeah. started the new job and I was wait. Nobody cares about your new job. I was showing like three and a half hours a day. Aaron so Master Race tired. Bank. Yeah, they're, they're coming back. They're making Jenny's hair because a plus five hair gel. Yeah, yeah there you are, guys. It's it's Wayne's the, fault. Uh, the MMOs costs will be coming back, yeah. especially uh, since I'm going to stop playing World Star in a few days. Yeah, because well, I'd already started playing actually. <laughs> it's a fact like that might not happen because Wayne's going to start playing World Star in a few days, <laughs> and ironically, <laughs> will be too much MMO. Yeah, and <laughs> no MMO costs. Yeah, but yeah. yeah um, any final last words? At least we've explained one. There's been no MMO cast. That's that's kind of why lately we've been trying to produce some Let's Play content slash the yeah, kind of we suck some at. random yeah. Yeah. Which so videos on we, we, we thought the, the the other two kind of put out the regular content for a bit and then they weren't able to. So now me and Andreas. We started off We yeah. Suck Out, which is now every Tuesday, which was originally going to be a subcast. Yeah. Originally it was going to be we were going to play games well, and talk over We're getting them. there. We're learning yeah. to like yeah, we're le- play the game. We're learning to talk. concentrate and talk at the same time. It's um, very difficult for us. you will have both at once? Yeah, I so say the, the, the We Suck Out is going to... We're going to try for yeah, Tuesdays. That's, that's the ideal thing. Like yeah. We're going to kind of try and have both at the same time because... I'm really enjoying making that series. Yeah, it's so stupidly I fun. Mean, yeah, it's like we, at the time this goes out, the Portal Part Two will be coming out, and it's um, Tuesday, yes, yeah, today. So um, check it out. But um, yeah, we we did that, and when we finished, Please like we sort and of subscribe like, for that epic intro. <laughs> yeah, that the Tom is so proud of his introduction. I hope yeah. uh, if if you haven't watched it, when as soon as this is finished, we'll link. I'll link it in the in the corner here on the bottom left. Um, but uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, he. Um, Tunnel annotation. But yeah, Tom is uh. <laughs> Turn on annotations. Yeah, turn on annotations again, guys. Um, we don't put annotations on videos anyway, so you should keep them on during our videos. And if I yeah. say there's going to be an annotation, or any of these guys say there's going to be an annotation, you'll see it. Yeah. But I don't believe it. I'm just going to turn them off anyway. And yeah. Now we spam the screen with annotations. Go. Oh, everywhere. <laughs> spam, 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 Different spam, spam, colors: spam. green, blue, <laughs> green again. Don't set we miss. This, this no. one links to porn. <laughs> <laughs> but, just yeah. kidding, maybe. Yeah, yeah maybe. just kidding, maybe. No, we're not. Mm. Yeah, so basically, like yeah. just just to quickly round off the podcast, talking about our, our channel and stuff, you know, we're still doing our podcast. Now there's finally some goddamn gaming news, and we're out of like the dark part of the year where nothing yeah. fucking happens. Yeah, we can start doing subcasts again because there's more to talk about. Yeah, and um, you know, obviously we've we spent this entire thing talking about gaming news, which we haven't really talked about much. It's been kind of individual topics yeah. and stuff. Yeah, it's but, good um, to actually have uh, something to talk about. And, yeah, something uh, to like work about. around. I reckon once E3 is done with, um, we'll probably skip the MMO cast one week and just do a uh, E3 sub, like extended yeah. sub cast. Maybe we could record just, several casts. Maybe we could just... Okay, this is all, like the, all of the E3, E3 announcements. Yeah, yeah do like, do like we a, were right. A, yeah. Like the week, after the weekend's finished. We're always right. We'll get we'll get together in the evening. We'll actually record one of these sort of casts. We'll just release like a. It'll just be a special yeah. cast. It will be the MMO cast can still keep going and everything. We'll just release a proper like an yeah. E3 like a what like a, a retrospective. If we're thing. incredibly wrong, it can be released on the same time as we suck at. <laughs> yeah. like, we suck at E3 predictions. <laughs> yeah. and this is special <laughs> guest Wayne and Mass. Yeah, it's just a video of us going. Oh. We got this all so I'm going to say Left 4 Dead 3 just just, just so we Left 4 Dead 3 I'd like to see and I think it will happen yeah Source 2 Source 2 Left 4 Dead 3 yeah that's, I think that's the thing that I wouldn't expect but I love at yeah. this point yeah so um, yeah so MMO cast will be making a comeback um, after finishing the portal sort of what was meant to be a cast slash we yeah. suck out we uh, actually got really into Wayne is the most active I've ever seen him in a podcast I've never seen him dance like that yeah. he's trying to he's still got his eyes closed yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's, but, he's uh, sleep dancing but yeah we really enjoyed it and we carried yeah, on so we're going to try and kind of continue the we suck out I, f- I feel like this the, the one that will be coming out some point soon that we just recorded with this, just, we were a bit too dude, hard on yeah. ourselves. <laughs> we, we, we wanted to be We Suck At and what it turned out to be was uh, we just absolutely we, we, failed. We slam our head into a brick yeah. wall for four Although minutes. it does have a few interesting moments yeah. and I implore you watch it because you'll have a great time. But we, you know, in the meantime, we've gone way over. So yeah, we've we gone have. way over. This is going to be a long sort of... It was yeah. just, this is sort of, again, this is like the third combat cast that we've done in a way. Like, this is just explaining where we're going from here yeah. as well. Again, so, which we'll probably do again in about oh, yeah, we'll four do or five months. We'll do, we'll do it again. When Tom will mask it's a new job. But thank <laughs> you wish. for yeah. listening, ladies. Yep. yep. Thanks right, very I, much I, I, for who, tuning who I, in. Who am I kidding? Thanks for listening, guys. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we 
we have I mean, we've, we've got All we've got a, a new subscriber with a strange name yeah we have like what like six six watches maybe <laughs> yeah so maybe yeah i'm, I'm two guys. of them just saying when we when we, we have let's like, play videos when we yeah. have like two million subscribers we'll do shout outs to you guys because yeah. Yeah. here's our original series <laughs> oh i've just remembered i was asked um to make a joke about balls uh, or dicks and stuff so dicks and balls and stuff. Like, All right, yeah. I'm too tired to give you a fucking joke. What do you want from me, you scumbag? Well, I've, I've I've actually been asked by a specific person. Should he listen to this to make a joke about Wayne being a wet wipe? So Wayne, you're a wet wipe. <laughs> I'm gonna second that motion. You're an Definitely. asshole. All in favour, say. Because somebody wiped with a wet wipe. Ah <laughs> uh, dear. All right. Oh, let's Thanks, go. guys. Have fun. Yeah. And Cindy stuff. says she loves you guys, so yeah. but she see. hates us, so she's yeah. not here. Yeah. Who loves you guys? Oh, Cindy, Cindy, those claws. Yeah. Oh, nice, oh, Cindy. Those yeah. claws. All right, well, thanks very much for tuning in, guys. And, uh, well, we'll be putting out more content over this week, the coming weeks. Another podcast next month, maybe more. So we'll <laughs> see you soon. Peace um, out. Bye. Definitely a subcast for Friday. Nobody cares, Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> Boy. Boy.